Hello, welcome to Topper Machine. I'm Josh Topper. So today we're gonna do some upgrades to the copy torch. Many of you remember it from the video I did uh, a little while back, but it follows a pattern up here and will cut out whatever with the, the oxypropane that I run or oxyacetylene. Um, and the other thing I'm gonna do is actually build an adapter for the plasma torch for this. So it'll be a multi-use machine. Now. The reason we're going and doing all these upgrades right now is, is for one, I wanted to do it anyway, but for two is I got a call last night from my neighbor who has a CNC laser and a CNC plasma, and he's got to cut out some 5 8 inch thick parts. His small laser won't cut that. His big laser is broke down, and now his plasma table is broke down yet again. Um, he's always having problems with these CNC machines, so now I get to rescue him. So let's get started on the, the upgrades I want to do here. We'll start with the table, putting in removable slats, and we'll go from there. So right here is the pan, and actually my, I bailed my neighbor out another time, and I, so I had him make me this pan. Um, and this will actually go on some angles and slide underneath the burn table to catch all the slag. And I may actually put water in there just to, to cool it down when the slag drops through, but this will protect the floor. So let's get the angles cut and weld it in so we can slide the pan in. So I got the first one well tacked up there um, using my Fireball Tools squares. Um, actually, I just bought these and I really like them. Um, I also bought the Mega Squares too, but um, these are the, just the triangles. And I really am happy with these. So I'm going to go ahead and get the other side welded on and we'll get it ready and slide our pan in. it is all installed our our uh, slag pan if you will just slides right in nicely now we'll go ahead and start cutting this apart and getting ready to put our removable slats in cleaned up well. Um, now I'm going to go ahead and cut some spacers for our, our slats. 
that'll hold them up vertically and then cut our slats. So we'll back over to the iron worker. So I'm going to start on this end and I cut these at two inch square and we'll start down here we will put one in put a 3 8 spacer and then weld the first one and then the second one goes in and I might have to do a little cleanup and grinding as I go where I find the welds but we'll just weld it so that it holds this 3 8 gap and then my quarter inch spacers will fit right in. Okay, we got them all welded in and I just ground the top down so that there's nothing protruding and we'll go ahead and get some uh, the quarter inch bar stock in here and start cutting it. So I got a few of them that are just a tiny bit too long. I started this project actually a couple weeks ago um, and just cut the first pieces to see how they would lay in there. And um, so now I cut them tight and this batch that I just cut today, I cut a little bit looser. Um, so it'll be easier just to get them in and out, but all I'll do is clean these up with the grinder and then they'll drop right in. So the upgrades I wanted to do were done. We got the slat boards, um, removable slats for the table, and we got our slag pan for catching the slag and protecting our concrete floor. Now, these are two big improvements that I've really wanted to do for, for, since I got this thing and ran it the first time. Uh, the next improvement I wanna do, and we're just gonna do a separate video on that, is making the plasma torch adapter. But my customer, my next door neighbor, was just here a little bit ago. He was looking at the patterns. We discussed the patterns and the plan of how to make them. 
and he's going to cut them out on their laser table that will do quarter inch capacity um, and then we'll bring them over and we'll set them up on here and cut the 5 ace plate. Now since his CNC plasma is down and his 3 quarter inch capacity laser is down, um, my uh, old ancient manual machine is to the rescue yet again. Okay, so we got our pattern and this is just a ring that we're going to cut out. And torch is hooked up and here's our 5 ace plate. So I'll go ahead and light the torch and we'll uh, get her cutting. So there's the first one and uh, that looks really nice. What I did differently this time and, and from the suggestions of a lot of viewers was a smaller tip and up the oxygen and it looks like that worked really well plus a lead in to my cut um, instead of doing, um, you know, starting at the start point right on the cut and blasting through. So I think that looks really good.
there's part number two. Let's get this last one out of here and see how we did. Not as much slag on these this go around as there was the first time I ran these, but uh, definitely a learning experience and definitely hot, but seems my uh, slag pan worked out good and my grates worked out good. Well, there they are, all finished. Um, I'm very happy with the output of this thing, um, and I'm getting it dialed in more and more with each cut. And to all of you that commented on my last video, thank you, you really gave me a lot of good pointers. Um, you know, smaller tip size up in the oxygen, um, starting off of the part and leading into it. Now that didn't work too well with my other pattern because it was so big that magnet really grabs and pulls in, but with this thinner pattern, it works just fine. I can control it a lot better. So I might be making a different pattern or a lead in, lead out peg or something. Um, but very happy with the, the final, final product here. And, um, you know, bailing out my neighbor yet again, his CNCs are, are always down, always, always having problems with them, one thing after another. And that Laguna plasma table has been nothing but a nightmare from the day he bought it over two years ago. I can't tell you how many times he's had the factories out here working on it and different techs working on it and, and they just can never get the thing dialed in right. It never wants to work. So I'll stick with the old school proven technology and, and that's the way I'm going to be. And I just finished watching Curtis from Cutting Edge Engineering's last video of his 12 hour work day. I had to laugh. Seriously, you only work 12 hours? God, you guys are slackers over there. We, here in the U.S., we work 16 hours sometimes more. Um, at least I do. I know a few other guys in the area that do as well. So with that, until next time, get out in your shop and get it done right the first time.